A quick disclaimer before we get started. This video is intended for the United States market. The bespoke program is specifically intended for the LC500 coupes like the, the V8 and the hybrid model. The LC convertible does not qualify for this bespoke program. And there's no word on a white interior that's gonna be available for the LC convertibles or even the LC in general for 2022. Really the bespoke program, there's no crazy options going on here as you're about to see in this video. You can't you know, match the paint to like a handbag that you own or anything like that. It's not a crazy process, but you're about to see as this video continues. So let's get started. All right, let's talk about it. The 2022 Lexus LC500, this little bespoke build. <laughs> you know, th this actually came out on like November 17th of 2021 here. Uh, it kind of opened up on the, uh, the United States Lexus website so we can do our little bespoke build, but let's be honest, it's mostly just kind of a disappointment if, if you haven't checked it out already. I already did a video talking about the changes for the 2022 LC500, at least for the United States. So I'll leave that video linked down in the description box if you wanna check that out. But mainly it's a bunch of suspension changes yet again. So I mean, 2021, they already made a pretty drastic suspension improvement by making the vehicle ride like complete butter and for 2022 apparently they're going to make it ride even better than that so this car is going to be great if you have a bad back <laughs> or if you're just a little bit elderly uh, it's going to ride like a complete dream so it's almost going to be a little bit uncharacteristic uh, but anyway let's kind of get started here build our little dream lc right we'll see what this little bespoke build is about i honestly wanted a f sport that's what i've been waiting on a proper f sport variant of the lc i'm not talking about the lcf with like a twin turbocharged v8 there is no shortage of twin turbocharged cars just go get a bmw m8 or some amg benz right there's plenty of twin turbo v8s out there what makes this car special is that naturally aspirated screaming V8, okay? What people need to understand is uh, turbochargers just muffle the sound of, a, of, a, of an engine. That's one of the things I really like about the new Corvette Z06, the C8. They are maintaining a naturally aspirated V8, which is pretty epic. I would actually be very curious to drive one of those cars, but anyway, let's, let's get started here. You know, we'll, we'll see what this old bespoke build is about and uh, get started here. Another thing I should probably mention is some of this uh, warranty slash incentive crap. As you can see, there's really nothing <laughs> for 2022. It's all 2021 stuff. I don't know, let me know in the comment section. Uh, I think some dealerships are even charging over MSRP for the, uh, the LC 500s, which is just nuts. All right, here, finally found it. All right, so... <laughs> Paint options, honestly, my most favorite paint option is the cadmium orange. I really love that color. I think it's a pretty epic looking color for this LC500. It's not too loud. Um, I think this color is on like the UX or something. That little SUV thing, that entry level SUV. So it's basically that same color. Great, it's really nice. Yellow is just way too loud. I, who, whoever can rock this, I really respect them because I can't do it. Nori green. I mean, all the colors look good on this car, like a dark blue. The, the Nightfall Mica, they all look good. The infrared, you know, even black. You can get any color for this car and it's going to look amazing. So that's not really a problem, but I like orange. You, you have a new stupid looking spoiler. You know that that's the main change for 2022. You you get a the, you get this dumbass looking looking spoiler. You get some black wheels and you get an orange interior. That's that's what's new for the 2022. That's the bespoke build in a nutshell. <laughs> if I'm gonna be honest with you, but you comment below. You let me know how you like the spoiler and the way it looks. Uh, some of you told me in the in the last video I did that you actually liked the spoiler. That I'm kind of overreacting. Well, if I'm overreacting, then good. You can buy that, put it on your own car. Uh, I'm just gonna choose this speed activated rear spoiler. You know, the one that electronically pops up. That's perfect. There's actually another spoiler that you can get 
that's that they're not showing on the uh, the Lexus website here, but it's kind of like this carbon fiber lip spoiler. But uh, you can probably order that later, you know, through your Lexus dealership if you have a car without a spoiler at all. I, I don't really care for it, but carbon fiber roof that's mandatory. You got to do that. The accents, so you have like this new option of getting some of these uh, chrome pieces blacked out as you can see with the with the front grille here kind of blacks it out there but it's not like a drastic change really if i'm gonna be honest i'm sure in real life you can probably notice it more like uh, on that rear taillight a lot of people complain that that kind of aluminum foil thing that they have on top of the uh, the the taillights kind of looks cheap to them i never really minded it but you can kind of black that out now However, if you notice the kind of chrome running over the, uh, I guess the B pillar, since it's a coupe, that remains chrome no matter what you do. So something to note there. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll black it out for the sake of this video. Why not? I don't really care for it, but here we have the, uh, the wheel options. There you go, those are your new stupid looking wheels. These kind of got unveiled for the Inspiration Series for 2021. There's like this new blacked out LC and these are the wheels that they featured. These are $4,500 for these basic looking wheels. I actually, I honestly, I like these 21 inch wheels the best. These 20s are a complete, it, it, it should be like a crime to get these dumbass looking wheels on this LC5. I hate the way the 20 inch cast wheels look on the LC, but you had the option of getting like these chrome 20 inch forged wheels, which are like the same wheels that they offer on the LS500 sedan. Uh, that they offered on the LC500. Those wheels looked great. I would have no issues putting those on my vehicle. But here's the thing for the 2021s and up, they all ride amazing. So there's no point in getting the 20 inch wheels because the car is not gonna benefit in terms of its ride quality by going with the 20s. So just get the 21s. I like these chrome ones, these half chrome, half black wheels. These are my favorite, but, and they also cost a lot less, like two grand less. So that's what I'm gonna be going with. And the interior, this is where we see uh, the big change. You have this new orange interior. So we have this option of getting it Alcantara for the uh, kind of roof lining. I would definitely pay up and get the uh, Alcantara roof because it kind of that material helps to quiet the vehicle down a little bit. It's a good sound absorbing material. So, and it was, and it's a little bit more premium and nicer to the touch. So I would definitely pay up. To get that, you had to pay $3,600 to get that Alcantara roof lining, but I would still get it, honestly. The beige interior is what really made me fall in love with the LC500, and I would still have no issues getting that. In fact, it's actually cheaper here to get that in the Alcantara. It's only $1,700 versus uh, $3,600 for the orange interior, but you know what? For this 2022, I don't mind going with the orange interior, even though beige is amazing for me because like the steering wheel because there's so much color here i don't mind it the steering wheel is orange that little gear lever knob is orange the the whole entire kind of roof lining the doors a lot of the door is orange two-thirds of it pretty much and uh, you have the seats could have been a little bit more orange but it's fine the way it is actually you have a different seat option available to you as well some people don't like the kind of alcantara material going through the middle of the sport seats so you have the option of getting like a full leather comfort seat. That's kind of what they're calling it. Uh, honestly, I hate the way they look. And also I like the uh, the sport seats. I think they're amazing. They're super comfortable. And yeah, it's it's bright enough. And notice the, the dashboard here. The dashboard on this black interior is black. So there's gonna be less reflection off the, the front glass. Uh, on a sunny day, which is helpful. The thing with the beige interior is the entire dash is also beige, which I love, but that does create a a pretty noticeable reflection, uh, especially during the summer or when the sun is really blazing. Black interior, I've come to appreciate the black interior over time. Before I was like, you can give me an LC500 for 50% off with the black interior and I still wouldn't want it, but now I've kind of come around to it. It's it's actually not that bad. I don't mind it, but I still maintain beige and the orange. There's no red option, I don't know why. Oh, there is a red option, but you have to choose a different paint. 
that's what it is. All right. And that's actually going to be circuit red. So I'll, I'll change the color here, the exterior color. Should do like white or something and then go back to the interior. Now you have the option of getting like this red seat, which is cool. You know, I don't mind that. Red seats, that's a classic. But then the steering wheel is going to be black, the gear lever knob and everything. And also you have like this Riojo, Rioja red <laughs> still on some of the panels of the interior, which is kind of weird to me. Uh, it's not all circuit red. It's not all bright red in there. So something to keep in mind around the... Uh, the window switches on the driver's side as well as near the gear shifter knob. It's all kind of a different shade of red, the Rioja red. Something to keep in mind there. So orange, everybody knows that that's the new 2022 color. It's going to be bright. It's going to pop. It's cool. The steering wheel is a different color. Mainly, I like cars with a different colored steering wheel. So for the 2022 model year, go with a cadmium orange exterior with the carbon fiber roof, the little wing activated, speed activated spoiler, some black accents, the chrome slash black wheels, the 21 inches, this orange interior with the sports seats. That's what I would choose. Now that came out to what, $109,000. Uh, that's gonna be the MSRP price. Now here's the thing though, that I don't understand or I can't really see on the, on the website. I don't know if when you go through this bespoke build, if these cars include the uh, the sport package on it, or the dynamic package, whatever the hell they call it, uh, with the not just the you know speed activated spoiler, but with the rear wheel steering and the uh, the variable gear ratio steering rack and all that stuff, uh, I don't know if that's included with this bespoke build. They're not really saying here. However, if you go through and you do like a regular build, right? on the website, I, I believe you will get the option of adding a dynamics package or whatever here. I'll kind of quickly go through this here. On this, when you do like the regular build, you don't have like the orange interior option and all that. But as we see here, we have the sport package with the Torsen limited slip differential, the 21 inch wheels, parking assist, the sport seats, uh, performance brake pads which I think they updated the, uh, the sport brakes for 2021 to make them a little bit quieter. I'm pretty sure because or else like the 2020s and before they would squeak a lot. That was a complaint that many people had, but this is the dynamic handling package. Yeah. That's what they're calling it this year. Yeah. That's where you get the active rear steering, variable gear ratio steering, some carbon fiber scuff plates, the speed activator, rear wing, intuitive parking assist, 21 inch wheels, Alcantara headliner, uh, carbon roof, all that good stuff. I've heard that the rear wheel steering and everything makes the car handle so much better. It, it transforms the car essentially to make it feel much smaller. However, I never really had an issue with the way the non-dynamic handling LCs feel. I actually love it. When I initially got the LC, I was actually happy to not have the, uh, the rear wheel steering because I, I figured I got the most organic feeling LC, right? None of that synthetic crap, right? But in actuality, I do like rear wheel steering cars. I can go either way with it, but moving forward, if I were to place another order, I would definitely get the, uh, the dynamics handling package. That's for sure. I would want that in, in, in the future LC, right? Uh, heads up display. Sure. Why not? Since it's only 900 bucks, Mark Levinson, that's a must. And here, when you kind of spec it out, yeah, all weather floor mats, that's a must. And, uh, sure, get the little key gloves, protect the key a little bit, why not? So about $107,000 here with all the options. I don't know why it hasn't updated the wheels to show the new 21-inch wheels included with the dynamic handling package, but it is what it is. And, um... Yeah, I don't know. If you've talked to a dealership about this bespoke program, I would love to hear your thoughts to see if it actually includes the dynamic handling package uh, when you do the bespoke build, or if that's an extra ten thousand dollars that you have to add on to the price of the whatever bespoke car that you built. Do you have to add an extra ten G's to get the uh, the dynamic handling? Just let me know in the comment section. But yeah, that's kind of how I would do it. 
yeah, LC500. I mean, it's still, there's still no F Sport. I, I wanted an F Sport variant because I figured they could probably retune, rework the, uh, the exhaust a little bit, you know, make it a little bit louder, maybe make it crackle a little bit, you know, rework something there, uh, exhaust intake, subtle little things, bespoke F Sport wheels, things like that. I think 2023 though, we might get that. I don't think they're going to be making the LC for much longer because it's not a vehicle that sells in high quantities. So the LC is probably they're they're done with it. And here's another thing: many people complain that they did not update the the infotainment. I'm so happy that they didn't update the infotainment because I love the touchpad and I like the fact that it's integrated into the dash. That's one of the things I really like about uh, the LC's current infotainment interior setup. It's so clean. It's sleek and uh, just looks great but i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comment section below how would you spec out your own lc500 uh, either in the bespoke program or without it let me know and if you're actually in the market and you are looking to build one how are you building yours are you going through the bespoke program or not is there anything in the bespoke program that you like like the uh the black wheels, the orange interior, that weird looking spoiler. You know, let me know your thoughts, but thanks again for watching. Take care and goodbye.